So, I'm going to give you powerful tips how to understand what is good and what is bad gifts here in Ukraine to your dream lady. And guys, please always remember that what you're present to your lady, that type of lady you will attract. So, I mean, the quality and the type of gift will attract either good ladies, wise and worthy, or gold digger. So, please stay with us and let's get started. So guys, lots of you keep asking me what's the general rule of behavior in Ukraine because everybody knows that there are big, huge, even difference in mentality, traditions and cultures all over the world and all of them quite different. And to feel at home, uh, to get friendly attitude of local people, you need to keep specific rules. Something you need to do or something you absolutely mustn't do. And uh, in our next episode, I'm going to give you some tips what you cannot do in Ukraine in order not to get into specific trouble or get some conflicts with the local people and to be accepted as a normal, polite and well-mannered person. So guys, my name is Vita. I'm client care manager at Match Guarantee. Welcome to our show, Ask Vita. And today we're going to discuss with you a very interesting topic and I know lots of you wondering before your first trip to Ukraine what to present to your Ukrainian lady, how not to waste money and how not to be too cheap and not to show her that you're going to spend millions of dollars or something. So let's try to discuss what is bad and good presents for Ukrainian ladies in Ukraine. And I hope this episode will be very useful for you and I will help you to have an idea and how to be successful because it will be also a very important moment during your first date, how you will impress your lady. And it will depend, of course, on her attitude to you. So what kind of man and uh, what kind of future even she can have with you. So she will take a look, she will test you and she will notice all such small things. So let's discuss gifts. You know, for me, uh, for me it's quite obvious topic and uh, I know that uh, women are women still all over the world and I think, I'm sure, like all ladies all over the world, small and big one, old and young, all of them like presents because it's very pleasant, it's nice, enjoy. But personally for me, uh, I like to give presents even more than to get. So I got much more pleasure when I see happy faces, when I see the expression I produced, when people unwrap the package and even if they're not sure what they're going to get right now. So it makes me feel happy. When I have possibility, I always try to enjoy my close people, my friends with some good presents. Uh, but sometimes you need to be sure what specifically to present because if you made the wrong choice, it can disappoint person and you, of course, will be very disappointed. So it's very ethical moment. Let's see how it works in Ukraine. So guys, you know, here in Ukraine, we have a very popular and very famous holiday, International Women's Day. And believe me, all girls from such to that, all of them expect presents from men's, husbands, boyfriends, brothers, sisters, whatever, even uh, woman to woman, uh, mother to daughter, sister to sister, we always give presents. But of course, uh, if you're a close person, you can ask before in advance or you can get some hints, some tips before what you would like to get. Uh, but sometimes if you know the person very well, you can of course ask what you would like to get as a present. But if you're not sure, better to give some uh, template, some standard uh, good things and stuff which is considered to be popular here in Ukraine. I know guys that lots of you who is still planning to come for Ukraine probably first time or maybe you have your experience and you're planning to come once again but you're going to meet your dream lady first time and of course all of you wrecking your minds over what to give as a present for her. I know that some of you were already scammed so you're quite skeptical now and quite suspicious. Some of you, sorry guys, just really greedy which we 
women all over the world don't like and don't accept. So some of you just can be cheap, but some of you just want to please your lady as much as you can. You know, all these, all these moments are not correct. We need to be in the middle, so we need to find compromise in order not to waste your money and how to please her with a quite good present and quite good appropriate stuff. So not to be cheap too much and not to spend too much money. And of course, to please your favorite lady. Let's see. Please attention guys. Speaking about presents, especially for the first date, I'm not talking about iPhones, computers, uh, furs, expensive jewelries. You will just try to buy her attention by buying her such presents and believe me this is absolutely not necessary and even if it will be good woman if you will buy her something like this she will be very shy and she won't feel comfortable because she will feel like she owe you something remember we discussed it in our previous episode so don't make her even feel uncomfortable by giving her expensive presents buying some luxurious stuff trying to attract ladies' attention, especially if you are not confident and sure too much about yourself. Don't forget that you can get simply into the trap of illusions, your own illusions. Uh, it can be like fake love, fake attitude, and I think that's not what we need, guys, with you, right? We are looking for serious, genuine love, true love, so we need to be careful about this. So. Giving her very expensive present, it's not even good. First of all, it can never work for the good girl. Or simply you can waste the time and money buying such present for an appropriate, unworthy mercenary woman. Guys, for the first time, for the first date, when you will see your dream lady just first time, I would highly recommend you to buy just nice, good, beautiful flowers and some sweets. And uh, you can be even more creative if you buy sweets from your country and in a very nice decorated box. Believe me, she will be, she will be very pleased. It's not so much money for you, but she will remember that when you were leaving your country, you were thinking about her and you wanted to please her, to show her your interest and your attention and care. So this kind of present I can recommend you and it would be appropriate in every situation, guys. Also, it can be, you know, like um, uh, some set for shower stuff, but not specifically for uh, specific types of skin, but like in general. But also the box can be or package or rack can be like nice decorated and look really beautiful. So also it's not so much personal. Uh, this is uh, the things which every woman would like to use in every day. So also can be good. But guys, uh, never buy perfumes, cosmetic and some personal things for the beginning of your relations. I can tell you why. Because first of all, you don't know her tastes. You, you're not sure about her preferences. So you can be disappointed and she can be disappointed. And you can just waste your money. Believe me, she can just put in the box or maybe present later to her mom or sister or friend, whoever. So if she doesn't like the smell, uh, she will think, oh, okay, for this money I could get much better perfume, which I really like, which I really appreciate, and maybe it's even cheaper than which you buy, because maybe you think, oh, it's expensive. So she will be for sure happy to get this, because it's a very famous brand, and women all over the world crazy about this. But believe me, some, some of us like sweet, uh, some of us like fresh, uh, some bitter smell, so it depends really on a person. And uh, also, according to the age, Different age frame ladies, they like different smells. So don't risk and don't try yourself by buying such things. Otherwise, both of you can be disappointed and your plan will be just ruined, you know. I'm not talking that uh, buying a wrong perfume can influence your future relations. No, of course not. Because uh, all of us, you know, you have experience with relations and some of you sometimes have really funny stories 
uh, I am sure, but anyway, uh, you want to make as best impression as you want for the first time. So you need to be sure about this, that she will be happy and you will be happy, of course, as well then. Also, guys, uh, I know if you, if you want to buy some personal things, maybe like clothes or lingerie or something like this, never buy it at the beginning of your relations, you know, because... Um, both of you not confident and not sure about your mutual future. I would advise you to buy such personal things when you already have good relations and you know you're sure in this person, you know her tastes and preferences, you know her size even. Or, you know, you can even simply ask her. When it will be an occasion you're planning to visit her second time or third time or probably she has a birthday or Happy New Year or International Women's Day even, you can simply ask her, if you have a good relations, easy relation, you can ask her, my dear, I would like to buy you a perfume. Can you give me an idea what type of smell you prefer or maybe what specific brand you would like to get because I just don't want to disappoint you with my wrong choice, low guys. So I think <clears throat> if she's a good person, she will never give you like idea of something very, very extremely expensive. But at least you will be sure that you are on the right way. She will be happy and you will be happy too. Also, don't buy some kitchen stuff. You know, like uh, actually uh, such kind of presents people like when they already have a family. If your wife and husband and you know she's dreaming about multi-cooker or a new um, electricity oven, I don't know what, she needs some stuff to make her kitchen uh, work easier. And of course she can hint you and uh, during everyday life with her you see that she's lack of this, this and this. In this case you can ask her, okay, maybe we can buy some new facility to kitchen, what you would like to get. This is okay, but if you will give her for International Women's Day some nice dishes or cups, whatever, you know, unless this is like exclusive, you know, very expensive and nice looking, maybe even um, ancient set of cups and set of dishes, of course, like it, it considered to be very precious and she will be very happy, but it's very rare case. So don't try, don't risk by such stuff because uh, women also prefer to get more romantic, uh, more romantic presents showing your attitude to her as a woman, not to the as housekeeper, uh, not to the washer and to chief or something. So even flowers and sweets always better than buy some stuff like for kitchen. Okay, guys.